Y'all, so I got masterclass like last August. It was like $180, $15 a month, and I've not done a lot of the cooking things, mainly because cooking, it's one of those things that you kind of need to do to learn, and you know, whereas writing, you can kind of just listen in the background. But today, I'm gonna cook. I am going to learn from the best. Gordon Ramsay. I wish he was here in real life so he could scream at me every time I made a mistake. Go. Yes, chef. You. What's wrong with you? Nothing. Chef. Yeah. Get a grip. Yeah. You. You made bar, but there's shit all coming out. And you. Look. Halibut stuck to the pan. So here's the tea. My mom is currently, she just had a knee surgery, so she's in the living room watching some TV. That's why I'm not doing the intro out there. It's a little loud. So um, I'm just gonna try to film this video today. I've been putting it off because I'm like, oh, well, our kitchen is ugly and no one will want to watch this. But you know what? I hope you sit back and relax and enjoy me cooking in our 70s inspired serial killer looking kitchen. A friend of mine actually said that it looked like a serial killer would live in our house though. I will be cooking this eggplant basil feta thing today because it didn't look crazy. There was a recipe on there for like caviar and I'm like, Gordon, how much money do you think I have? Okay, y'all. Make sure to like, subscribe, and let's start cooking. Eggplant, one of the most exciting vegetables on the planet. Now, it does look somewhat daunting, but this is a perfect side, or even a dish on its own. The most important thing is to get rid of the bitterness first. Slice, straight in half. What we need to do is salt it. First off, take a small knife and literally crisscross onto a tray, salt generously, and then just leave them down. There's instructions here that Gordon does not tell me, so I must do them now. First, I need to peel all this garlic so I can keep up with the master Gordon. He's five close. I think I'm having this recipe. Little slivers and just Start sticking them in there. We're gonna roast the eggplant now. And we'll see that garlic, it'll sort of melt and disintegrate. Just stuffing some garlic into the eggplant. I don't know, how much garlic should I stuff in here? Gordon goes so fast, I keep having to pause the video and start over. Oh, that's a lot of oil. Okay, time to go to the stove. Now, we're gonna color the eggplant. Straight in, always lay away from me. And again, in. Now, the secret here is to get some color on those eggplants. You know, it's a robust vegetable, so it can take a really good sear. Slicing the onion. Keep that root on, okay? Keeping that root on there helps you chop this onion nice and finely. Three finger rule, one finger in front, two behind. Use the tip of the knife and just let that do the work. Don't worry about speed. How does he do this without cutting his fingers? Ooh. Oh, these brown real, real nice. These onions and then give them a little bit of a twist, especially with the spices. Touch of oil in. I'm using white onion for this because it's a beautiful, acidic, incredible flavor. Like I said, the eggplant, it's a, it's a sort of a robust vegetable. So I wouldn't use a shallot for this. And then you hold that back and you pour and it just comes out in one big scoop. Almost like a big scoop of ice cream. This is really hot ice cream. Oh no. He's like, you shouldn't get any skin on here, and I have so much skin. What are you? An idiot sandwich. Now, give that an amazing mix. 
expressions. Mm. Now. I've got this nice, beautiful, fine pulp. Take that out. Add that in. Basil at the very end. Thanks for watching me learn to cook today, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Woo! Ah! That was kind of dumb.